my infertility story as a fertility doctor and how this led to the fertility formula. Hi friends, I'm Dr. Natalie Crawford. I'm a board certified OBGYN and REI. And every single day I talk to you about your bodies, your fertility, your health and hormones, and that's what this channel exists. I just wanna thank you for all your support and love, for all of the comments and the subscribes and the shares, because you really helped show the world that you wanna learn about your bodies. And every single one of you is paramount to me even getting this book deal, because the fertility formula is coming to you and you can pre-order it now. And I'm so excited that you can pre-order it. And before, I really wanna dive in this video into the behind the scenes about why I wrote the book and what sets this book apart. But before that, I just wanna say, you guys made it possible. This book is really for us. And if you do pre-order it, because I know it's kind of ironic to go on here and promote a fertility book nine months before you can actually get it in your hands. But I wanted to make sure that you could start doing something now. So one thing that I created was from the book, you know, from the 300 pages of the book, created a PDF guide that is 30 pages that is talking about your lifestyle and fertility and things you can start doing right now to improve your fertility, whether you just want to optimize your hormones or get pregnant or you are doing IVF and want to have the highest chance of success. And you get access to my exclusive course called the IVF guide, which is a totally on-demand course. So whether you're going through IVF or you just want to optimize your fertility, if you pre-order the book, you will get immediate access to those. You can go to nataliecrawfordmd.com slash book. You can find out information about where you can purchase it and how you can put in your purchase confirmation to get the fertility formula starter pack and those exclusive bonuses right away only available if you pre-order the book. So that hopefully is a little bit of an incentive that even though you can't have the book in your hands yet, you can still start making meaningful change right away. I had four pregnancy losses myself and I had been married for a while. I had used birth control pills, happily loved the pill to prevent pregnancy and really worried almost ironically so much about getting pregnant in a bad time when I was in medical training and kept worrying about when would be the perfect time, when would be the best opportunity to get pregnant. Finally, when it felt like it was not the worst opportunity, decided to stop the pill and my period came back right away. I had no cycle abnormalities. Everything seemed fine. And it really struck me that even though this occurred when I was in OBGYN training, so I'm a fertility doctor, which means that I did four years of OBGYN residency and then three years of infertility fellowship. And even though I was an OBGYN, I really didn't know what to do to get pregnant. I was an expert at taking care of people when they were pregnant and dealing with complex situations. But these basics about when should we have intercourse and am I ovulating and how do I track my ovulation and all of the questions you start asking yourself, I didn't have the answers to. And then when we started having pregnancy loss after pregnancy loss and I went to the doctor, I was really told that there's nothing I can do. It was just bad luck and just to keep trying and relax. And that was obviously discouraging and hard to hear, but especially as a doctor and as a woman in my own body, I just felt like that wasn't true. I felt like something was wrong with me, yet nobody could give me answers. And all my tests came back normal. And I got that unexplained pregnancy loss, unexplained infertility diagnosis. That's just terrible. My pregnancy losses were really not fun. I mean, obviously, I mean, they're never fun, but obviously like working on labor and delivery, miscarrying while helping other women give birth, being in charge of L&D. It was just such a low experience. And it really just made me question everything. You think about, do you want to have kids one day? Almost like it will be a given. And then when you start having trouble, you start doubting yourself. You start doubting what your future looks like. You start blaming yourself. There's a lot of shame and guilt. And I felt all of those feelings. So if you were in the trenches of that and you're feeling it, hugs and I see you and I've been there. When I got to fellowship, kept having pregnancy losses. I had three pregnancy losses and ectopic pregnancy. It really just got so frustrated by the entire experience. And in fellowship, half of your fellowship is research. And most people, most REI fellows all over the country do IVF because that's the bulk of what we do. And so most fellows do research in IVF, but I was adamant that I wanted to do natural fertility. And I was told by my fellowship, well, if that's the case, you have to get a masters of clinical research. So you can really understand epidemiology. And I said, great, sign me up. 
And so I did all of my fellowship research on natural fertility and the luteal phase and ovulation and fertility awareness methods and environmental toxins and omega-3 fatty acids and really tried to see what are all these other things that can impact our world. And even though these topics are very different, the one word I saw over and over again was inflammation. And it really made me think this is so interesting because I don't talk about inflammation very much to my patients outside the context of a disease like endometriosis or thinking about one specific thing. But I saw it across the board. Omega-3 fatty acids help because they lower inflammation and environmental toxins hurt because they increase inflammation. And this made me just start to really deep dive into all the literature and really look at my life and what I had considered normal behavior and really change how I approach everything. Meaning we got rid of things in our kitchen, which were toxic. We changed how I slept, how I ate, really did an overhaul to try to say, what is inflammation and am I feeling it? And how do I decrease it within myself? And this wasn't some large scale experiment. This was on me, but to say, what can I do? And I was already mentally preparing that we were going to do IVF and that was fine. But because I was the first year fellow clinically, that wasn't something that I could do yet. So we had this waiting time period where we couldn't do it. So we just had to wait. And so talked to my doctor who said like, why don't we just do some Clomid? I I ovulated. So there's no reason for Clomid, but why don't we do some Clomid and you can just kind of keep trying naturally just in case. But what I did, because I didn't want to do just the same thing was I totally changed my life. And then we got pregnant with my daughter and I was very pessimistic, assuming that we would lose this pregnancy, but everything went fine. And postpartum, did the same anti-inflammatory diet because I felt so much better and got pregnant with my son without any treatment. And so this is really interesting to me because after years of struggling and then to get pregnant after making these lifestyle changes, I became a very big believer that the world around us impacts our body. And then that's a key player to our fertility. And we're finally having other literature and research catch up across the board. And you're hearing people talk about inflammation much, much more. But in addition to just talking about it, there's this huge lack of knowledge, right? There's this base fund of knowledge. We don't understand about our bodies and we're not taught things about ovarian aging and egg health when it comes to metabolic health and egg quality and how all of these little choices and everything we do actually impact our fertility and our hormone production on a daily basis. And that has been something I've been talking about online for years and something I talk about my patients and something that I personally very much believe in. So I started educating on social media back in 2015 because I wanted to talk to you about your body and obviously short form content can only get you so far. So, you know, in the years that followed is the as a one podcast and this YouTube channel, which have grown and helped so many people. So Even today, a patient told me her mom sent her a video of mine talking about what to expect in the first trimester. So moms love it. But I just felt like there's so many pieces to your fertility from the beginning to the end and so much you can do and so much that's hard for us to talk about in a 10 minute video or in a 60 minute consult. And that really inspired me to want to write the book. I got a book agent in 2018 and I wrote a book proposal and was very passionate about this. And it went out on submission, which is where your agent goes and pitches it. And I was told no by everybody. I was told I could change it. I could talk about something different. And I was like, no, I want to talk about natural fertility mostly. I want to talk about infertility treatments and what to expect. And I want to talk about lifestyle and fertility. And I was told there was no market for that, that nobody wanted to talk about a book this depressing. (laughs) That hurts. I said, you know what? This is the book I'm writing. So after it died on submission, I shelved it. And I talked to other agents over the years and heard the same story over and over. There's no market for a fertility book. There's no market. There's no market. Well, finally, I got really just said, hey, I'm going to keep on educating the way that I am. And if this book isn't meant to be, it's not meant to be. And Dr. Karen Tang, who's amazing, if you don't follow her, you should. She had a book agent and wrote It's Not Hysteria, which is a lovely book. And she told me, you have to have a book. I said, I actually have a book proposal, but nobody wants this book. And she set me up with her agent who was fabulous. And Mia, I love you. She was one of the first people I came in and I said, look, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. I believe in it. My audience believes in it. The people who follow me on YouTube or who listen to the podcast, they believe in it. But if you don't believe in it, we can't sell the book. 
And from that meeting in December, I signed with her. We had the book went out, it went on submission and we had an auction for the book in April, like in this very fast timeline, it came to life. And so April of 2024 got a book deal and have been working on writing and crafting this book. And it's with the best team at Penguin Random House at Penguin Life. And Nina is my editor and she's been fabulous, really crafting this book into everything I wanted it to be. So the fertility formula is here. It's more than just a fact book. It is guiding you through what I think everybody should know about their body when it comes to inflammation, how it impacts your body, your hormones, your menstrual cycle, and what the biologic clock really is. It's more than just your age. It comes to how to track your cycles, how to get pregnant when you want to get pregnant, what happens when pregnancy isn't going right, a fertility evaluation, fertility treatments, and abnormal cycles, and how to get to the root cause of them. And then it talks all about lifestyle. So what can you do to help your fertility? And this goes through sleep, stress, movement, what I call the foundation or the core of your day. We're going to talk about diet and supplements. And we're going to talk about toxins. And then I really put all of that together into an actionable plan for you and what I recommend to my patients, what I did and how you can take this information, but really give it something that you can do. And it does also include recipes because, you know, I love some anti-inflammatory recipes. So the fertility formula is out and I hope it is something that you will consider buying and buy for your friends. If you do pre-order, remember you get the special bonuses and share. And this is really a personal project. This is something that I wish I had had. I wish all my patients had had earlier in the journey. And I'm so honored and thankful that you guys made this possible for me. And I can't wait for you to have the book in your hands. So thank you, friends. 